Console players have been waiting for it, and now it's here. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today, I've got 11 mods for you. For all platforms, we've got five new and four updates. For console only, we've got one new. And PC and Mac, we've got one new. Let's check them out. First up, we've got a brand new tractor for you. Case IH Puma CVX-165. This is a little bit different. This is like a small frame case Puma. It's a little bit smaller than the other ones. Plus, we get like 30 horsepower less on the max end. Maybe even more than that. But actually, we get a whole lot less than that. But we're going to jump in and check it out anyway. We do have some other things as well. Animated doors, top configurations, front loaders, all that good stuff. Let's jump in. Where are we going to find this? Well, we are going to go into vehicles and we are going to go with two medium tractors. And in here, we're going to find it right next to the other Puma. Here it is, Puma CVX Series. Now, yes, it has the same uh, same title here um, and even Steve's down here. But boom, this is it right here. So rim color, we get uh, multiple options here. You've got gray. You've got a little bit darker gray. Get the black bat. So all the colors that we've been used to seeing on the case um, case mods, case magnum mods, all that good stuff. Plus we have every single color under the rainbow. You want to go green? That's weird, but go for it. We're just going to keep it normal base game gray for right now. Main color, we have multiple different ones here. We have standard, we have red metal, hot. We also have red matte, which looks great as well. We have black, we have black matte, and then we have gray. So we've got all of those. And then in design colors, we got three of these. First is red. You can kind of look in the background and see everything that is red. Now, if we change this over to black, oh, now everything's black. And what about gold? Yeah, boy. It's gold accents on the tractor. Gonna call you Richie Rich when this is all said and done. We're gonna change it back to red because red looks the best. Actually, that doesn't look awful at all, does it? Configurations. We have multiples of these. So configuration, we have standard for the front. Then we have a 100 kilogram front weight, which is pretty much just a weight holder. And then you get the 850 kilogram front weight. If you want any more or less than that, whatever, you also have the standard front three point as base. So that is kind of nice. Wheel brands, we have Trailerborg, Nokian, Midas, and Michelin tires. At Trailerborg, you've got standard wheel weights, wide tires, wides with weights. This is some of the best looking wides with weights you've seen. God, these look good. We also have narrow tires as well. This is a little bit of a smaller tractor. Um, the thing is, the wheels are a little bit small for the tractor frame. You see how much like how much the tractor moves this should be a little bit bigger but hey whatever <laughs> there you go let's have rear twins and back to standard again there in nokian these are just going to be standard tires all around in midas standard wides back to standard again and then in michelin we have standards wides yep wide tires with weights back to standard again now the interesting thing is i think that the standard are wider than the wide tires. Call me crazy. I am, but that's what I think. Interior designs. We have black and we have red. That's going to be kind of the accents going around. Um, if you change it over to red, it is going to change the interior of the tractor gray. And then, of course, the, seat, the seats are going to be full black. Then design here, we have standard platinum edition, which is going to give you some racing stripes down the side, which is kind of cool. Um, so we get that and change up colors. Then we have the Viper Striker Limited, 175 years there. Then back to standard again, engine setup. So we have the 165, it's going to give you 165 horsepower. And 175, it's going to give you 175 horsepower. Only two there. And then front loader, yes or no. That's going to be your stole front loader. I'm using the stole, I think it's the 40, 30, whatever the smaller one is. And it's working just fine. You see here, base standard model on the right. We've got the fun version all decked out on the left. That ain't too bad, is it? Next up, we have the Dang Gravel Slurry 1 Tanker. This is a really good looking tanker right here. Running the uh, trailer hitch with a PTO. So you're going to need all of that. It's pretty standard stuff there. Wonder if this works with the uh, manure system mod. And we'll check that out whenever we go in. We'll buy one of those. Plus, we've got this guy right here. Lower down, pick up your stuff. Do all your stuff. You want to do stuff realistic? Go for it. If not, eh, whatever. Go for it there too. It doesn't really matter, does it? Not one bit. This is titled as going very fast. Not as a speed, but like loading wise. Interesting. We'll take a look at that. So let's jump into tools. Let's go into slurry tanks. And it is bright and orange. And it's going to be real hard to miss. Yeah, right there. There it is. Slurry one, $80,000, 200 horsepower required, 20,000 liter capacity, 16 meter spread at 10 miles per hour. 
and of course does slurry and digestate. If you're on PC and you have the manure system on installed, it will do water as well. So there you go. Main colors, we've got green and orange. Very interesting there. I haven't seen a full green Den Gravel trailer before. Wheel brands, we have Trailborg and Michelin. In Trailborg, we have standard and wide tires. Kind of missed the uh, missed the thing there for doing T404s, but whatever. And then we've got some junky boys right here. You get the Mega X bibs right here. Those are big boys right there. That is pretty cool. Now, let's go and let's find our hose system. And let's take it over to this trailer and let's see, will this work on uh, PC? If you guys are using this, maybe you've got the slurry mod installed or the manure system on installed rather. The thing is, I haven't seen where this says that it is manure system compatible. It doesn't say that, Ooh, I forgot, you can't, you can't drop these. So let's take a look and see, can we hook it up? Yes, so if you are on PC, you have the manure system installed, this will work with the manure system. Very cool. Your next mod is the Lizard Slurry Tender 22,000. This is gonna hold 22,000 liters of slurry and or digest again, water as well. If you have the manure system mod installed, this is manure system compatible. So you've got your uh, hookup right there. Just brought over the hose from the other one. You can change up a couple different things. So let's jump into customize one of these. Let's go into tools and let's go into slurry tanks. And here we are. So what do we get? We get rim color, we have main color, we have wheel brand and wheel setup. So. Let's take a look at the rim color. So we get a uh, silver, we get a white, and we get a black. Very cool there. Main colors, we get a, looks like a galvanized steel. We get a flat gray. We get a flat lighter gray, fat, flat, fat black. Uh, we also get a green, darker green, red, and yellow. Eh, probably should have just gone with, you know, main colors here. Probably would have made things a little bit easier. Uh, down here in wheel setups, we have Trelleborg. Michelin and Lizard in Trailborg, we have standard and wide. See, 404 is right there. Look, see, totally doable. Michelin, there's nothing there. And then in Lizard, we have standard and wide tires. There's not really wide. They're just going from one type of road tire to another. So there you go. All's good there. And again, like I said, it is manure system ready. So if you're on PC, you want to use this with a manure system, well, you can easily do that. It is just a tank at the end of the day. This is not a spreader. Remember that. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is the machine building by Daniel X321. Now he's known for making very usable, very good sheds. And this one is no different. So we get multiple doors across the front. We got a door there, we've got a door right here, opens up perfectly fine, and then another one right there. Not only that, we get little stuff all around the building, great textures, great looks. I think <laughs> it just looks great, doesn't it? Open that bad boy up, boom, boom, boom. And then if we go down here on the left-hand side, we've got the lights. Now the lights look cool, I wanna, I wanna let you guys see these. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I love that, that's awesome. That is cool. That is very, very cool. Out here, we've got one more up there. Now you can see like right here, these lights down here looking good. All right, let's go up the ladder. Let's go right here and then let's jump on the platform. We'll open this door. And we've got yet another area right here with extra lights as well, which is phenomenal. I think these lights turn on before the ones downstairs do, if I'm not mistaken but these are all controlled by the same thing. It is just super nice that we've got not only a door, not only a loft, but so we can actually get up here. <laughs> That's a big problem with a lot of other stuff. Um, you're not gonna wanna put anything up there that you can't carry around by yourself, uh, cause it, well, it's just not gonna work. But it is cool that it's there and it's cool that it works. And your last new mod for all platforms today is Seasons Geo New York. Experience farming in the productive lands of New York here the winters can be hard and the summers are hot with temperatures reaching 90 degrees, <laughs> very warm. Latest version of Seasons Mod is required by the Meyer Family Modding. And you can take a look here, you see we've got very short planting times in the spring. However, we do have very productive planting times in the fall for quite a bit of stuff, but you make sure you get that stuff in very, very early. Uh, things like sugar beets, potatoes, uh, corn, sunflowers, extremely extremely short time to plant things so make sure you get that stuff in and then most all harvesting looks like it's going to be done uh into the fall and summer so that's pretty cool and naturally as soon as i was done with my video and hitting upload giant says you know what let's release two more mods just because we wanna but they're cool so first uh first of the two mods that haven't yep 
Yep, they're here now. Uh, John Deere 9600, 9610, a big old boy. Brand new combine right here. Unfortunately, no headers have dropped at least since I have been doing this. I did look in here and there is a uh, header that's being used as a 625F, which we do not have in game yet. But use a big header. You'll be just fine with this. That pipe is long enough to reach wherever you want. Let's jump in and check this bad boy out. How's about that? Let's go into vehicles. Let's go into combine harvesters. And in here, we're going to find it. We got a bunch of John Deere now, don't we? Goodness, we got a bunch. So where is it? It's right here. Boom. Click on it. Um, let's see. Does it say it works with anything? 625F. Yes. So it says it does work with 625F. I don't see it anywhere. I haven't seen it. But <laughs> configurations, we have no. And we have Starfire. So we've got that on top. Wheel brands, we have Michelin Midas. In Michelin, there is nothing. And in Midas, we've got uh, wide tires, wide singles, and then we have big old duels in the front for the American community. And then engine setup, we got the 9600, which has 253 horsepower, and the 9610, which has 275 horsepower. So whichever one of those that you want, you can get it. It is a big boy right here. I am liking this. Do we have a trailer hitch under here? That's my question. Mm, don't see one no trailer hitch at least that i've been able to see and the second of two surprise mods the auto ramp 1300 by white bull modding white bull so you know it's going to be a good one this is a round bell wrapper at the end of the day um it is a three point which is very different from anything else most everything that we've got is a trailer or some type of small little dolly no this is a three point attachment which means it can be used on a variety of things which is very nice so let's jump in and check it out. So this piece of equipment is going to be found in tools and it is going to be found in baling technology. Now, you don't have to run around too far. It's right here, $15,000 in, holds uh, round bells and it would be cool if we could change up some colors, but it is what it is. You're not gonna be able to do a whole lot to it, but again, 15,000 bucks, not terrible. It's still a good looking piece of equipment right here. See, White Bull Mining always does a really good job on everything that they do. This is no exception. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today. First up is Mini Brune. Changelog 2.4. Fix the missing multiplication grass in the farm silo. Deleted, not used textures and files. Added puddles for painting in landscape mode. So you've got dirt and mud that you can paint now. Very cool. New ground texture. Concrete damaged added for painting. Weeds and more bushes have been added for painting as well. Added different preview textures for grass with bushes and flowers in the landscape tool. Seasons of the lucrative snow missions have been added. Added support for the Maze Plus and Forge extension without any additional fruits. That is only on PC and Mac. Uh, texture names when painting over landscaping are now displayed only on PC and Mac. And added paintable real mud turns into mud during rain. Um, and again, that is going to be on PC and Mac as well. Uh, unfortunately, those are just not able to happen on console, but it's cool that PC is getting that. Also, if you are on PC and Mac, keep in mind that you are going to need a new game save for this. If you are updating from version 2.3.1, uh, just keep that in mind. And another map update, Mezzo Falva Farm. Unfortunately for this one, they put no change log in the description, so I can't tell you what has been changed. Um, I can tell you that it says in, on medium and hard difficulty, you have to buy the land of the main farm. We got 33 fields, six of them are sowed with grass, four cell points, forest mission system, animated doors and sound, purchasable fields, and some other. So there you go. Uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Similar story over at the Lizard 32 Disc Heroes. Uh, yep, no change log, but it's got an update, so ta-da! Update time. And your last update for all platforms today is the Food and Fertilizer Shop. Fortunately for us, this does have a change log. Change log 2.0000 says they've added hay to the field types, updated support for seasons mod to better support it, added a button for warning stripes. These can now be turned off when using the UI, added support for some field types, added support for Maze Plus, and added the Italian translation. Moving on to new mods for console only today. This has been on PC for a while. This is the Straw Blower Gyrinx Big Comfort. Now, of course, there is a change log for this if you're on PC, just console release so you're good to go there this is a very large volume bell shredder you can put eight square bells in here at a time which is very very beneficial price is going to be thirty-five thousand dollars for crowd power 100 or uh, 100 horsepower again capacity eight bells what you're going to do is you're going to put the bells up on the sides there and right here and then you're going to jump in with your tractor and hit fold so on the xbox that's going to be left bumper and a if you're on playstation that's going to be l1 and x you're going to fold that up and then treat it just like a normal straw blower 
very very easy to use and if you want to find it it's going to be in tools and in animals no customization for this piece of equipment unlike the new mod for console only the new mod for pc only today this can be customized this is the iker ag 300 well, we got two customization options for this so why don't we just jump in and check that out so let's go into tools let's go into cultivators and let's customize one of these bad boys so we've got main color here we've got multiple different blues we have greens which is nice um see so not original original green fresh so not the original greens there and of course we have kind of a lighter orange and a, uh, a more red than anything then we have design color now these are going to be your wheels which is really cool you can make these match or you don't have to make the match right here they match boop now they don't very cool it's about my liker and ls mod company if you guys have heard those names before because they are very very in depth in the community this is a three meter cultivator so just keep that in mind because that is going to be it for today i hope you've enjoyed if you did make sure you drop a like on the video get subscribed to the channel if you're new join the go ham fam make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss a daily farming simulator video here on the channel with all being said hope you have a great day we'll see you later peace